there's a better, faster, cheaper way to do everything. Pike Pass is an incredible story and really inspirational. The courage that it took to start that journey uh, back in the early 90s is nothing short of amazing. There was a need to change. We hadn't updated the system in 40 years. We knew that something better had to happen. We had never built urban turnpikes before. They were all rural turnpikes. We had uh, a, a new director, Richard Ridings. He had come in and uh, one of his objectives was to implement an electronic toll system. Richard came in and he had an idea of something. And he started talking about a system where you know people wouldn't stop to pay. A gated system is still gonna be a challenge and Richard said, well, why don't we just open everything up and let it go highway speeds? That had not been done before. There was a, a committee from the Turnpike Authority that went around and looked at different systems. We'd been up and traveled around the country even back before Richard got here in the 80s and they'd have plazas that had like 37 toll booths out there just stretched for hundreds of yards, you know, and so we knew that something better had to happen. We started working on uh, this idea because I had some friends in Dallas and they had a toll tag there. And it was the Dallas North Tollway that had what they called the Amtec system. They had no dedicated lanes whatsoever. So one guy might be paying cash, one might be paying coins, and then here I come with my toll tag and I can just drive through it five miles an hour. Richard was the guy that said, that's not going to work. It was an amazing, once in a lifetime opportunity because no one else had done it. We had that moment of, do we wanna to wanna to fall on our face? You know, we each had a regular job, plus we were on that implementation team. And uh, we had several conversations about, I'm not sure how we can resolve that. And he said, you have a light, a lunch pail, and a blanket. Don't come back until you've got the answer. And he would force you into thinking. We tried to just kind of charge forward and, and, and believed that it would work. Not crazy writings is gonna make us do this, is it gonna work, oh my gosh. They had put the system in on the then six turnpikes in six months so that we could be ready January 1st of 1991. I got to celebrate my New Year's opening up Pike Pass on the Turner Turnpike. Nobody had experience with it before, um, but it turned out to you know be successful as it is today. I got calls from everybody. It was, just, it was constant. It was, it was kind of a big deal. It ramped up a little quicker than we thought it would as far as adoption. It worked. It worked early and it worked well. The company that was producing the pike passes didn't have enough in production to get more to us. I think we owe Mr. Ridings a debt of gratitude, uh, along with Secretary McCaleb and all of the board members uh, and staff members past and present uh, that have really made Pike Pass what it is today. Once we started doing it and the ads got out, my discussion with Sam Walton, he couldn't believe we are going to give him a better, faster, cheaper way to do things. And so he was the first one signed up and then every trucker in the country jumped on the bandwagon. Our customers accepted it. Why? Because the thing that makes turnpikes attractive are speed, convenience, and safety. So it was really a no-brainer in the end. We had multiple visitors, even from overseas, uh, uh, international visitors, to see highway speed tolling and how that worked. You know, without the creation of Pike Pass, I don't think uh, the Kilpatrick, I don't think the Creek uh, could ultimately be the successes that they were. You just don't build turnpikes now without a system like Pike Pass. When you ask what's next, it's all electronic tolling. I think that's evident now. Uh, no longer throwing quarters into the basket and no longer waiting for the light to turn green. So again, that's, that's next on our list. That's in the not too distant future. If you look back in the course of your career, you know, what was significant? What are you proud of? And really Pike Pass has to be at the top of my list. What the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority did 30 years ago was phenomenal.